Hello guys, welcome to this channel and I hope everyone still in good shape so far and today I'm going to share you a tutorial and this tutorial it is based on the case that I find out in a community and uh, it is coming actually basically uh, making this video it is coming the idea is coming from Nicole Galindo Colazo and she was asking about how can I get the word alumni to split like that so uh, this one it can be done in Canva as long as you know the element name and you know the steps so this one it's easy uh, to execute this kind of design in Canva so uh, I challenge myself to make this drill just to help you and to help others as well so that everyone understand how to do this one and I'm going to do it step by step and this little trick will blow up your mind so actually this one it's not so difficult all right so I'm glad uh, to get this um, request in here and I will send to you right away and uh, before I continue I would like to um, introduce myself my name is Sir Sharma I come from Indonesia and I live in Bali all right so guys this is the final design that I made and it's similar but I'm going to let you know how to get these things done in Canva all right so before I continue I would like to introduce you all the element who assist me to finish the design and this element in here there are three elements that I use font and there are two fonts and uh, this one and this font uh, this element over here and this kind of a rectangle or shapes and lines so I will just give you a um, description about this and details more and here on this page uh, here the element that I use is one is uh, lines and shape so once you click lines and shapes on the on the left side so you will see here all right so do not get other lines and shape just here okay just here uh, why because these lines and shape here square one you can adjust you can uh, extend it and this one's extendable and you can adjust and you can even recolor yeah i just like to introduce you recolor and uh, any kind of color you can yeah so I, and then besides that you can make a border weight lines and you can make it rounded as well and you can even erase the inside color so be, become transparent something like that so so that's why I recommend you to use this lines and shape because this one is editable and colorable and um, you can change the color you can do it and you can modify it and you can make it rounded and you can even adjust the size up and down up and down and right and left that's it right so that's small that's a short introduction about it so I put in here that so this is the first element that just me here from lines and shapes and the second one is the font this kind of font is uh yeah it's famous one the name of font is um, times new roman so it's all here times new roman so it's easy to get this one because this one is a famous font and uh, the second one and the third one font that i use here a waymar script so actually i have uh, two options in here but i make a decision to use this waymar script over here way more scripts and the other phone that I use here it's a uh, dreaming out loud yeah it's just dreaming out loud yeah but it's up to you guys so you don't have to uh, depend on the on this kind of uh, font that I use in here but if you like to get this phone later on I will just uh, drop down later on on this video description so that it is for you guys you just copy and paste when you are going to design your own right just in case you want to use all this font name or all this kind of uh, font that i use in here one two three and number four the fourth element that i use here is i'm going to ungroup it and what's the name of this element in here okay let's just click here and then check in here info so elegant florist so here where can i get this one you just go to the element and then type elegant florist 
Yes, that's the way it is. And then it will give you here, it will show up the graphics and just click see all. There's a lot of options in here, variations of um, florist and textile. And you can grab it, which one you like, so you can adjust, you can match how would you like. So, for example, like this here, you can match. Okay, so the things that I use here is Elegant Floris, okay, by Olymps Studio. So that's uh, the element I use here, and there are four elements. Here, one, two, three, and four. There you go. So now, how to get this transparent? So I'm going to let you know, and I hope you follow me and keep watching and do not skip. So that if you skip, maybe you will miss the information. Okay, so now I will get this one because I did already. So I will just put in here, alumni, and let's change the color, okay? I will change the color. I will just make it green. And after that, I will uh, grab these uh, shapes here. I will just put in here, okay, and uh, drag and apply on the on the front. Okay, after applying it, now you can uh, change the color, become green. All right. So after change the color, because we want to make this one transparent, we need to download it because. We are going to make this transparent, something like this, right? So now we need to download it and make sure you chose PNG and then the current page and after that done and now download it. Now guys, while we are waiting for it and now we check and upload the files again, I will just upload back here. And I'm going to change the background color so that guys you can uh, you can see the difference. So as a, this is the previous one, and now we will get back this um, this design. And after this, we need to go to Edit Image and uh, Background Remover. Click Background Remover, guys. I would like to let you know that. Um, this background remover, not all members can use this one. Only a member who has a pro account user. So if you are not yet a pro account user, guys, I suggest you to upgrade your account by clicking this uh, link over here. I was affiliated with Canva and you can use this link over here and I will get some tokens. It is a big help for me if you use that link because I will get some tokens from Canva. So you can upgrade monthly and yearly, and even you can use Canva free, but uh, if you are Canva free, so you will not get this access over here, okay, to uh, to make this one is a uh, background remover. But if you are Canva Pro users, guys, the benefit is all access inside Canva, you can get it. So that's the difference between Canva Pro users and Canva free users. All right, so guys, um, we are almost there and we got this uh, design transparent and I hope you can uh, catch this, uh, the steps and, and after watching this, you can make it. Now we are done. And uh, after that, what we're gonna do is uh, we need to put, um, this font and this kind of element in here that I get it. I will just copy and paste this um, font and element here. I will just put and apply on this. We got these things done here and then we need to adjust and now we are good to go. All you can do is I will just move a little bit up this one because we don't use that anymore. Now we need to group this one and now we are done. So look at this and I will just change the background color. So this element, this uh, kind of uh, design is transparent background. Okay, so it's done. So it's not so difficult and it is easy. I'll make sure you become Canva producers. If not, you will not get this access anyway. 
all right guys so i think i'm done and yours is just the beginning and thank you for watching and if you think this tutorial is useful for you guys you can uh, subscribe to support this channel but if you don't like to get any notifications you don't have to subscribe you just keep watching that's fair enough all right so thank you guys and see you again for the next tutorial bye bye